James Darius Ball. I am the director of buildings for GreenBiz. As I am no longer an actual building professional, I will be sharing with you my perceptions of everything going on right now and kind of the top themes that I see, which I hope will all be obvious and uh, something you already know. So I'll be successful if there's nothing new here. Uh, with that, next. So is it harder to create a sustainable building for the first time or at scale? Uh, I would argue at scale, right? The first time people are paying attention, you get sponsors and donors. If you do a good job, they give you an award at the end, right? People pay attention, you get your organization to commit. Scaling, I see as a much more internal exercise. It's coming back to your company after that first example and saying, hey, how can we replicate this? And the truth is you can't. Right? You have to be a little bit more strategic in the things that you can implement holistically with organizations. It's more of a political approach internally at your companies to establish these best practices and get them institutionalized. So that's where the burnout occurs. I'm seeing this with my friends and myself, right? You get to this work that we're in right now of scaling implementation, and we say, man, this is harder. This is the Sisyphusian rock of actually getting into the scaling and into the momentum that we need to move this forward. It is the work we're in right now, and part of what we need is the vision to do it. We're shifting right now from having a more prescriptive approach to a performance measurement. Are we at the end of the green building movement? Are we just in the next phase? Building performance standards, these policy shifts, are making us start to measure more than ever. And I want to put out there to say, I think performance is more than a number. I think we need to have a qualitative idea of what building performance looks like so we can get the general public on board. Electric vehicles right now, when you see the ads, they sell the experience of being in that electrical vehicle. It's the torque of accelerating with that electric motor. It's tailgating with all these outlets you can have in the bed of your truck. What does that look like for performance, high performance, of sustainable buildings? We need to embrace that X factor of people that are going to be the ultimate jury of whether we are successful with sustainable buildings or not. For me, the sustainable building industry has always been about people. We make buildings for people, right? In the battle against nature, nature's going to win. We're not saving the planet. The planet will be fine. This is about our quality of life. It's about preserving an equitable existence for all people. And I'm excited about sustainable buildings, not because it's 40% of emissions and we have to deal with it, but because we spend 90% of our time indoors. We're an indoor species. If we create sustainable buildings that have a quality of life that people desire, then that is truly what we need to go mainstream. It's what we need to get over the tipping point. Sustainable buildings have the potential to truly change the experience of living for us so that products and cars are just the afterthought of why everybody says we need to have a sustainable lifestyle for our planet going forward. With that, those are my three minutes of remarks. Thank you so much. <laughs>